Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to texture painting in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. We have such a low poly sweater model. I will share the download link in the description. It is important to have low poly mesh in texture painting. Otherwise you can struggle with texture painting. Before adding textures, we need to UV unwrap for the model. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about UV unwrapping. Let's click on the UV editing tab. Firstly, we need to mark seam some edges to unwrap UV. Let's switch to edge selection mode and select these edges. Right click and mark seam. Hit the A key and select all edges. Go to UV menu and click on the unwrap. At the bottom left panel, increase the island margin value. As you can see, we have cut the mesh from marked seam edges and unwrapped the UV. Now, we're gonna add PBR textures. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to add PBR textures. Let's click on the shading tab and switch to shading workspace. Select the model, click on the new button and add new material. Press Shift A and add an image texture. Click on the open button, choose the base color map, and open image. Plug the color node to base color node of the principled shader. I will share the PBR textures download link in the description. We need to scale down the image texture. It looks very big on the mesh. To do that, select the image texture, press Ctrl T. So, it will add texture coordinate and mapping nodes automatically. Let's set the XYZ scale values to 7. It looks better now. Now, let's add normal map to add fake depth. Add an image texture. Open the normal map. Switch the color space to non-color. Add a normal map vector. Plug the vector node to vector node. Plug the color node to color node, normal node to normal. Set the normal map strength value to 3. We can also add other maps, but it is enough to apply texture painting. Now, let's switch to render preview mode. Click on the render properties tab, and switch to EV render engine. So, we can see the changes real time fastly and easily. For lighting, click on the world properties tab, click on the color node, and choose any HDRI image. Go back to Render Properties tab, scroll down to Film section, and enable the Transparent option. We are ready for texture painting. Click on the Texture Painting tab, and switch to Texture Painting Workspace. Switch to Render Preview Mode. In order to paint onto existing texture, we need to add another image texture. In the right panel, we can access Texture Painting settings. Let's click on the plus icon and choose the base color, and add new texture slot. Rename the slot as Texture Painting. Set the image resolution to 4096 pixel width, 4096 pixel height. Choose the color as black, and set the alpha value to 0. Click on the OK button. Let's choose the image we have just created from drop-down menu. Click on the Shading tab. As you can see, it has added the image we have just created. But, we need to connect the image to principled shader. 
To do this, we need to add mix RGB node. Drop the mix RGB node between base color node and principled shader node. Plug the image texture to second color node of the mix RGB. Plug the alpha node to factor node. Now, let's switch to texture painting workspace again. On the model, hold down left click, and drag the mouse. There we go. As you can see, it is also painting on the image. We can also paint on the image, so it will paint on the mesh at the same time. The coolest thing, the normal map works for texture painting also. We can choose another color for painting. We can also change the brush radius. We can also change the brush radius pressing F key. Drag the mouse inward and outward to change the brush radius. We can adjust the brush strength too. If we decrease the brush strength, painting will be applied softer on the mesh. In order to erase the painting, switch the brush blending mode to erase alpha. Hold down left click and drag the mouse. Let's switch the brush blending mode to mix again. Now, let's add strips on the mesh. To do that, hold down middle mouse on the top menu, drag the mouse left side. Switch the stroke type to line. Hold down middle mouse, and drag the mouse right side. Choose the any color. Press numpad 1 and switch to front view. Press F key and scale down the brush size. Hold down left click, drag the mouse to right side, and let it go. Press numpad 3 and switch to right view. Drag the mouse and let it go. Press control numpad 3 and switch to left view. Drag the mouse and let it go. Let's add another different color strip. Let's erase extra painting on the image. Switch the brush blending mode to erase alpha. Also switch the stroke type to space again. And erase the extra painting. It looks better now. Now, let's add Blender logo with stencil method. Firstly, let's add a logo background. Switch the stroke type to line. Choose the falloff type as constant. Choose the brush color white. Switch the front view. Press F key and scale down the brush size. Switch the brush blending mode to mix. Hold down left click, drag the mouse, and let it go. Let's switch the stroke method to space again. Scroll down to texture section. Click on the new button, and add new texture. Switch the mapping method to stencil. Go to texture properties tab, click on the open button, and choose the blender logo PNG image. Go back to brush setting tab, go to texture section. Click on the image aspect button. So, it will use original image aspect ratio. Hold down right click, and drag the mouse. So, we can move the image to place we want. In order to scale down the image, hold down right mouse and shift key, and drag the mouse. Then, paint the texture. Let's cancel the texture. There we go. It looks cool. Thanks for watching. 
See you in the next tutorial.